This one's a banger. I just woke up from a beautiful nap today and already found the perfect game to stress me out. The title just about sums up what this game is about. I'm looking at the preview alone and already hear cracked windows. We're we're in for something serious with this one. Why does this piano have to sound so depressing? Look at you in the back. Your shadow look about swole as hell. <laughs> what? Dog. Now nah, he's in a whole different weight class than you, Shadow. You got to be careful. I had to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. Well, apparently not if he's standing in the back of your house watching you like that. You really chose a the wrong bodybuilder to break up with today this is so oh you need some chips i need to make some food i'm hungry yeah that definitely either sounds like bubble guts or hunger so you know i mean there's some chips right here you ain't you ain't messing with the the ruffles have ridges well them ain't ruffles they're more like lays originals nah bro see y'all gotta mess with the salt and vinegars those go hard okay so we got something to what are we cooking? Oh, hair air? What is this? Nah, bro, not. Nah. Please tell me you got something to put on it. Oh, I was about to say, cooking an empty pan is diabolical. This looks diabolical. That does not look delectable, bro. Who would be knocking at my door at this hour? <laughs> More like who would be cooking blood and sausage and carrots and potatoes at this hour? That does not look good, man. I know whose house I'm not eating at. You got this beautiful freaking house and they ain't learn how to cook a meal inside it. I can't even say nothing. I don't know how to cook for real. You, who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? Ugh, Liam, I told you it's over. So no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's all over, Liam. Just go home. Open the gate, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. What? <laughs> Yikes. You will be mine again soon. Bro, if you don't get your... If I can't have you, no one can head out. Sounds like he walked away. Thank God. I don't think he walked away. Food should be ready now. It's more like he's he's adjusting the game plan. He said something about a gate. I don't, I don't see a gate. Is there a gate in the front door? Was he talking on the intercom? Is he living like that? Or maybe it said door and I just read gate. I don't know. Sometimes I'll be messing up when I read things, so. Bro, what in that food is crunching like that? Did you eat those chips? Because <laughs> that stew didn't, it ain't supposed to sound like that. A bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. I mean, like, well, I guess there's many ways to calm down, and the bath sure is one of them. I'm just, okay, let me, let me tell y'all where my mind is going. I see a lot of glass. I see a whole lot of glass. So if he jumps the fence, climbs up around the grass hills, he can throw a rock in here and he's already inside the house, bro. See, all this looks pretty, but it's not functional. What if a tornado happens? What if a hurricane happens, bro? Like you're just cooked. This deep, what did I tell you? What was that? Liam's in. Pull up. Where's it open at? It wasn't behind me, was it? It's not here. Is it in here? <gasps> no, I told y'all. I done predicted the whole plot in the first few seconds. Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? Hearts and kisses, hearts and kisses, Liam. You a grown man putting X's and O's on paper, bro. Well, look. You can't come from this way because it's too high up. He definitely launched that rock from the bottom. I don't think he- <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Never mind. I did not predict the story. He almost had me too. Dang, man. He was hiding behind the counter. No, nah, he's he's different. He's different. You don't get this basic lock screen calling grandpa. What about dad, bro? Where is dad at? 
grandpa's old self who is he going he can't beat on him his, his glory days have passed hello grandpa i need your help hey kate what's going on liam broke into my apartment and chased me i barely got away and now i'm in a car with nowhere to go that's horrible are you okay did he hurt you or something I gotta make his voice sound a little older. No, I gotta wait before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out on a business trip for one week. <laughs> We're gonna do throw a party in there? That's fine. It's still gonna be safer than uh, staying here. Can I go there now? Yes. I'll send you the address and key to my house is on the flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked, and if you need to go outside, you can always check the people first. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well, and don't hesitate to call me again, sweetheart. I'm just thankful, Granddad. No! Please tell me it's locked. Please tell me it's locked. Liam, you're crazy. Liam, you're crazy. Close that door back, please. Oh, I'm glad they didn't let me drive, bro, because I would have drove into something that scared me so bad. You know how hard I would have pressed the gas? Can we talk about how Liam's hair color matches his skin? I don't know if that's a rendering game error or if you just... Uh, what happened? Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. I have finally broken free from that toxic relationship. Man, thank God... Um, Grandpa was, first of all, awake at this hour and knows how to properly use his phone to text his address, bro. Sometimes, and again, not all of the older generation is like this, but sometimes, um, they don't be knowing what they're doing with their phones, bro. Like, <laughs> they don't barely, are we being followed? Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, no, did Liam manage to follow me here? I'm getting too paranoid for now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Dog, this makes me think, whenever I drive at night, I always hyper check the rear view mirror just to see if the same car is matching my turns behind me. And I already be having a plan, bro. I already know, like, like first of all, obviously, if you're being followed, don't go straight to your house, bro. Don't go straight to your house. Um, Thankfully, nothing has, like that has happened to me, but you feel me? Okay, grandpa said the key was in the follow part, right? Oh, good. It's a good thing you was listening because <laughs> I already forgot. Do we still see that car anywhere around here? This is a nightmare, dude. So when it comes to stalker situations, wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the, uh, the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Bro, the only thing you hitting is that door. You need to walk in before you pull it back. But no, like I was saying, Okay, so it's locked. We good, we good, we good. I had to double check that. Um, all right, we're gonna get the lights turned on. Ooh, this is a real old timey house. I'm surprised they even have like the three prong um wall plugs, dude. A lot of those older modeled houses don't even be having them. Are right, we getting all the lights turned on in here, bro? We ain't playing no games. Um, honestly. Oh no, that's the back. No, 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 no. Lock that. Lock that. Keep it locked. I need to get my thoughts together. I was about to say, when someone is like stalking, my mind immediately goes to like, what is your objective? What is your objective? Because I know you're trying to take something by force, bro. I Is that the stairs? These old creaky steps. I thought the door opened, but nah, my mind goes to like, are you trying to rob? You trying to steal? You trying to like follow, plan to hit a lick in the future? Like I catch a body or worse? You know, it's not necessarily something that I have to worry about, but I know a lot of a lot of women got to be careful out there, bro. Cuz you never know what somebody is planning. It is beyond me how many <clears throat> females I know like personally and or have heard stories from that have an experience about being stalked or feeling like somebody is coming off too aggressive, doing too much. Like, I have a question, bro. Anybody watching this video, do you have a stalker story that you would like to like tell in the comments? 
but you know obviously if it's something traumatic don't feel the need to do it but i'm just curious like how many of my viewers have ever experienced something like this because this is this is nuts bro this is nuts wow i slept that long it's like 3 55 a.m already okay at least he hasn't hit our line at all oh wait oh 3 55 p.m <laughs> is grandpa home already nah that's probably liam's old um uh uh predator ass out front bro i know he's a predator he's he's the prowler that's gonna be your nickname liam the prowler i can't be the only one that when i was watching spider-man miles morales bro that heard the name the prowler and then just thought immediately that that sounds like a predator name like <laughs> i don't know bro like liam is definitely one of those diddlers i don't see anyone out front red flag immediate red flag we ain't opening no doors in here we ain't opening no doors. If you ain't inside this house already, you ain't getting in. Do I really have to open the door game? Please don't do this to me. Bro, let the record show that I wasn't stupid. Is this, hold on, dearest new resident of this mansion. I'm the previous owner of this mansion and you are the person I have been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching you. Excuse me? Watching me? This is strange to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. Now I know that this is an old head. This is a devious old head at that. Bro, this is what the, um, <laughs> this is the old version of risky text, bro. Risky letters and risky emails and risky pager reach outs. <laughs> risky landline calls. That's such an old head thing to do, bro. Oh, that's so creepy. Look at this beautiful sunset. If I ever saw the sky looked like this, I'm taking a picture and using it for an album cover, bro. Facts. I don't know. You got to do something with this. What's that? Some kind of paper? You got a keen eye, don't you? 2020 vision, right? Who is this? Why do I feel like I've seen him before in real life? Y'all, who does he look like? I, he looks like somebody. I don't know. What? Ho hold on. Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. That is you. How you been looking in the mirror your whole life and can't tell that's you? Ashley missing since august 15th 2013 let me make sure january february march april may june july august yeah i was right please help us bring ashley home if you have any information even the smallest detail contact the police your assistance could make all the difference this is this is tripping me out this is tripping me out because that surely looks like it. maybe it wasn't her maybe it wasn't her or maybe they're trying to like manifest her going missing <laughs> i don't know bro that's some different type of vision work. Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Yeah, he definitely got a lumberjack dad bod and probably a smoker voice. Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Bro, your lack of social awareness pisses me off. I was weirded out until I heard this music. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Head is bald and know you depressed, huh? All these stalkers feeling obsessed. Is that a kidnapper van? I know where I'm about to stand in the back of the store. Hit the floor. I don't want no more smoke. Please don't follow me. I'm about to be up out of here. Back at the house. Where is granddaddy at? Please bring a bat so you can't hit him upside the head. Don't be afraid to make him dead. We're gonna tell the cops it was self defense. Huh. Hopefully, Liam don't jump the fence. Dang. Hopefully, he don't jump the fence. Huh. I'm up. Ooh. I'm in a hurry, so I gotta go. Why are you standing there like that? I don't know, bro. Like, uh, it, why it look like he's poking his, his right cheek out or something? You're weird, bro. You're weird. I know you smell like, like cigarettes, probably, dude. Okay, let me get everything. You know what this game, this door? I better sound like like Squidward steps when you walk. 
If you don't get them <laughs> two centimeter steps out of here, you too dang big to be needing that many steps to get to your van. Of course you're the owner of the kidnapping van. Of course, bro. It's it's only on brand. Look at him waiting until I come out the store. Drive off. Bro, this is this is pissing me off, bro. I, I just I hate weird people, man. And this is why, bro, sometimes I'll be talking to Janae. Um, if y'all know that's my girlfriend, right? But I'd be talking to her and I'd be like, yo, I just hate people, man. Like it's always somebody doing something weird. And who are you? Oh my gosh, bro. Like I, I love I love people who aren't who aren't strange, bro. It's just always some nonsense going on. That's all. Let's go pay for this now. We'll do. <laughs> Hello, is that all? You don't get your nervous self? Oh, you got a braided beard. That's kind of cool. You know what he kind of looks like? He kind of looks like Joe, <laughs> Joe Ica a little bit, don't he? <laughs> I knew he reminded me of somebody, bro. <laughs> Hello, is that all? I don't know. Is that? Yes. All right. The total is twenty-two fifty. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you, you, uh, you are new to the area. How long you been staying for? How long are you staying for? My fault. No problem. Not sure yet. Not too long, I would say. All right, have a good day and here are your groceries. Thanks, you too. Hey, just, um, <laughs> I just wanna thank you for like not marking up the prices heavily cause my supermarket, I be taxing over there, bro. If y'all know, y'all know, $17. What the hell? I was originally going to do 30, you better be happy. Y'all yeah, saw we done picked up like five, six uh, items or something. This game has gotta be old. Like this is definitely pre-inflation territory. <laughs> You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. Nigga, it's daytime. Why can't I just go to the store? What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. I don't understand. Like, where are y'all finding these men at, bro? Where are y'all finding these men in such high quality and high quantity, I meant, that move like this? I would imagine weirdos like this has got to be a rare find. You done ran across like two, two out of three men in that store was weird. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. That ain't groceries. That's snacks, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, wait, wait. Is it? My house looked a little foggy. Wait, when I first walked in here, it looked a little foggy. I don't know. Granddad, are you here? You hot boxing in the crib? I don't know. Let me walk these over to the fridge. I should have paid like closer attention um, to where stuff was in this house. Whoa, brighter days. You turn on all the lights in the house. A real one would close the um, close the blinds in addition to turning on the lights. Like you feel what I'm saying? I think that only makes sense because what are you hiding from with the blinds wide open, bruh? Oh man. Okay, let's make sure that's locked. Okay, this door is locked. All right. Welcome home is crazy work. Now here we go at risky text. Okay, and this is when the game really gets started, huh? You looked beautiful in the store today. So that was you? Which one, the kidnapping van or the other weird one? Can't wait to see you again. This just makes me uncomfortable, bro. Getting closer. We got knives in the kitchen. What was that? Oh, that's my heartbeat. Is he inside or outside? I'm soon there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I'm already there? I know I locked every door in this house. Come on, come on. What the shit? Bro. I'm here. Yeah, 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 he's outside. Okay, okay. Let's get a knife. Let's get a knife. Don't tell me granddaddy don't have no silverware. See, I wish I had the boondocks granddad here with me instead of you. You haven't even, I, well, he was on business for a week. Okay. Are we really about to open this door? Man. This is making me upset. Congratulations, Congratulations on settling in. 
You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Say less, say less, say less. Please don't jump out, please don't jump out. Check the back seat, check the back seat. Please don't be in the car. Do not be in the car. What? This man probably poured water in our gas tank. Please car, come on, why not of all times? My words exactly. Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops right now. We don't have any power and he's probably in the house. He's, he's, I know he's in the house right now. I know he's in the house. I have to call the police. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Should I get upstairs? Where should I even hide at? Nothing is safe, bro. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I, I need your help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at... Oh, okay. It's urgent. <laughs> they, they even kept the address hidden from the players. <laughs> I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right now. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help us on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. And make sure to lock your doors. The officers should be there soon. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Help us on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until officers arrive. Someone just uh, tried to open the door. Officers will be there any second now. Okay. Um. Wow. This just really makes me think about that <laughs> that J Cole bar. I came fast like 911 in white neighborhoods. Wow. They're already here. They're already here. It's crazy work. How? We must live like two centimeters from a police station. It appears everything is under control now. All officers apprehended a man in a white van outside your residence. So it wasn't even Liam. We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Thank you for your help. Uh, I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Here's the thing, though. It, was he in cahoots with Liam? Because Liam is still like a wild card out there in these streets. Ooh, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can go back to normal now. It should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside the uh, and restore the power. The doors are already wide open. No, no, no. The fact that we don't have a weapon is so trifling to me. Um... If somebody pops out of what the, fuck? what was I even doing? The electrical thing. We got power now, but no defense, dude. You gotta know that you heard something out here, right? I know I'm not tripping. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. You always want to bathe in the most weird times, bro. Now you're about to be vulnerable and not even dressed to run away in this tub. Bro, you finna have sticks and twigs all on your feet when you step outside if you have to run. The people in this town is already weird. I just hope you have a chance to get dressed before you have to leave. What is in this tub? Milk? Why does it look so white? Finally, a moment of peace. It looks like we're bathing in a jail cell, bro. But why would that stranger go so far for me? Whatever, it's over now. He probably works with Liam. That's where my mind goes. My what? Pictures is crazy. Pictures is crazy. You gotta, you gotta burn the phone yourself. I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. Go to bed in the tub? No, 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 no. There's not even any windows in here. There's not even any windows in here, dude. Where could that have came from? What? Why you got toilet paper sitting on the... You know what? Let me tell you why this is nasty. I bet you put it on the floor whenever it's not sitting there. Let me stay like that. My mind is roaming too much. I know I heard a camera, bruh. I know for a fact I heard some type of nasty little 1980s Polaroid. 
and I heard something bump. Can I lock the bedroom? No, I can't. Somebody's in this house, dude. Different sounds. I don't know about all this, bro. <sighs> what is that noise? Dude, you gotta know that there's like so many different options out there when it comes to different women you could be talking to. Why would you pressure the one that doesn't want you and makes it verbally clear? Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Man, here we go with this, bruh. Let me just go ahead and make this a statement right now um, and just make it plain as date to some of y'all um, or, or everyone watching this. If you're doing anything that somebody would make a horror game about, you know you're out of line. You know you're far out of line, bro. If <laughs> whatever somebody can make a horror game about, if you find yourself doing anything that the opposition does within said game, you're crazy. I doubt if it would have been upstairs. I feel like I just screamed like a masculine old lady, bruh. I should probably call to check how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I don't gaslight yourself, I'm not even going to finish reading this. What did he do? What did he do, bruh? No, I'm not calling him. No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. Still don't quite feel safe. See, the thing, the dilemma here is that you're making sure the house is empty and you have no way to fight back if it's not empty, bro. If I ever feel like I hear a mysterious noise in my house, I'm I'm grabbing a, a weapon before I'm checking, bro. Y'all know houses be sometimes making like little weird sounds throughout the day. This is the room we dreamed about. Something looks off about that book. <gasps> Whoa, history of art. <laughs> A secret passage? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. 27 year old Ashley was reported missing around August 15th, 2013, by her husband, two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. Looks a whole lot like this house, right? Look, honey, we made the news pretty cool, right? I think you're celebrating the wrong things. I can't replace you, Ashley, and there is no one that is as special as you. Why is this in Granddad's house? Okay, okay, I'm starting to think this was a previous owner of Granddad's house, because I don't think Granddad is out here like this. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. What the f did I just do? How am I gonna live on without you? How am I gonna live on without you? He killed her. What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Oh, so the, I think the old owner of this house killed her, dude. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Oh, dang. She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. She ran away or you pushed her away, bro. Let's take accountability here. Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. It's probably about time I talk to grandpa about what's going on here. Bro, did she decompose in that? I know this room smells like reverse Febreze or something right now, bro, because this is crazy. Can I look behind me? Bro, we finna get smacked on the head with a baseball bat. Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by somebody I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters and a uh, hidden room. 
I've lived there for ten years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? This makes me uh, so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? Uh, that could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while, and his name was... I know you're lying. Did he just hack my phone? Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery? And I... Bro. You didn't bring your charger with you? I guess you didn't have time. Oh, that sucks. I can't even judge you. Should have bought one at the gas station, though. You, you know what? I'm actually judging you for that. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. What is in this door? It's locked. How far is Granddad away from here? We spent like two days in this house and already found more than Granddad ever found in his entire stay here. All right, let's turn on this flashlight. Woo! All right. I got a flashlight. And I'll, I'm, I'll flash you. I feel so helpless. Running around with a flashlight and no weapon just makes me think about security breach all over again, bruh. Feel like Gregory. That's the search for a weapon just think it's about time. Let's start by looking in grandpa's office upstairs. What about a kitchen knife, man? Are you these nose noises? I can't even talk, bro. I'm talking about noise, nose, nose, duh, duh, duh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this? A paper? Chips? Bro, if you don't get those stale chips, there's nothing of use in here. Let's, let's think here, bro. Let's. The, I need a weapon. It has to be Grandpa, right? No, we need a weapon. We need a weapon. This just reminded me. Let's, let's, let's just pray about it. Right, right. We got the weapon of prayer, right? No, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. All right. I can't even find anything. <laughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just came, uh, I just had to come clean up, uh, clean about something. Okay. Of course you did. You're the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that it would make you come back to him to feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I feel too sorry for you. It all makes a lot of sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Yeah, because the way he approached us felt too weird to even even happen, bro. Like, it feels straight out of like a, a, a fan fiction or, or, uh, or some type of novel or something, bro. Because out of all my days, I've never seen somebody just move like that. Really, it's night already? We have to go to bed. How are you even sleeping? All right, well, what? Did, did that come from the bedroom door? In the house is crazy. It's a lock right there. Why not lock it? Yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked. We have no weapon. Granddad! You gotta jump out a window at this point. I thought this was over. You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this. And you don't know where I am. There is nothing that can stop me anymore. What do I do? I know if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me? Follow other path. Are you talking about that, that locked space in the basement? No, the killers, he's in there. He's in there. That's the only way that he could even get it. Yes, it makes sense now. It makes sense. That's the only way he could do all this. That's the only way. He's in the house. He's. In. Come on, come on. Please tell me there's some neighbors. Yes, he has to be in the house, dude. Because how else can he do this? I've been locking every door, every chance I got. I know he's secretly been living here. What kind of horse flies do y'all have flying around? Are y'all hearing this? Come on. 
Show me a path. Show me something. Show me something. It's a car here. Well, that's mysterious. This is definitely Liam's car. Whoa. 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 Um. Bro, I'm, I'm reaching invisible barriers. If he opens this door. Ooh. <gasps> Yo. Yo. This is insane. This is about to lead all the way down to the house. Bro, they got a bat cave down here trying to kidnap you. Blood stains. <gasps> What's this? What's this? What's this? Please don't be granddad. Please don't be granddad. Th that's Liam. What happened to you? Why would somebody do this? She is mine. <gasps> That's the pictures in the bathroom and only mine. Shift the sprint. They're making it known how to sprint now. Hold on. If we go deeper in this cave, where exactly does this lead to? <gasps> no, no, that's the casket. That's his ex wife. <gasps> That's her dead freaking gold man. Uh, I think there's uh these are Ashley's remains. What a sick twisted individual her husband was. I don't even want to know what would he would do to me. Yo. Yo. This is about to show us the path straight to the house, isn't it? I know it. I know it. That's the latch to the house. That's the latch to the house, dude. <laughs> It was you! Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. So I, uh, it, it was you who was sending the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but does that mean I can replace her? I don't care. <laughs> this whole situation is so bizarre. I feel like I have, but can't even take it serious anymore, bro. I have to run before it. I have to run before it's too late. This is, this is preposterous. This is so preposterous. Police! Help! Police! Help! Help! <laughs> so, oh, man. Man, they had the buckshot ready for him. Flawless performance. You didn't get caught once. I got an achievement. <laughs> you know me. The Triple E tribe leader. You know how we do it. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking feeling, a sinking gut feeling that was the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they uh, saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he actually had been telling the truth. He was re released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley Liam and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from this incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. That's no way to live, bro. But at the same time, I wholeheartedly understand this is ridiculous and it's so funny this game was just going for a unpredictable spin that was their objective bro they just wanted a plot twist they picked the one dude who wasn't acting weird in the gas station to magically be the one who was behind all this bro but you know what that was a dope game i had a lot of fun uh very entertaining very wild y'all want me to cover more games like this let me know give me some suggestions down in the comments thank you so much for your time Take care of yourselves. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed. And I will need to catch on the next time, bros. Peace.